All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And yes, I am flogging that dead horse once again. <laughs> As one of the comments said, I'm not going to give up on the build. Actually, I probably will eventually. But I got a few more up my sleeve. But this song, Can't Buy Me Love, he's even listened to it for the very first time. There was actually a movie from the 80s with What's His Face with this title. But um, anyways... I was listening to this on a family vacation, and there was a part of the song that I knew you were going to like, so I'm like, I got to try with this one. This is one of their earlier songs here. <laughs> you know, it's funny, and we had this conversation, guys, before the camera even came on, full disclosure. The minute he puts on, I'm like, oh, Beatles? And you know what I mean? Because, again, I, I, can't, help I can't, I literally want to, like... Uh, uh, you know, find new music that I can listen to. Like I said, I got this trip going up, uh, coming up to Texas. We're gonna be driving while we're at, not all the way to Texas, but even from our hotel to the to the venue is like an hour. It's Texas. Everything's far away. You know what I mean? But like, I love music, and every time, like, other than maybe one Beatles song, I still can't wrap my head around that these guys were like the biggest band in the world. That they're like held up there in the same esteem as like a Michael Jackson, that's an international superstar. Because when I listen to the songs, I'm like. Okay, it's poppy, but how is but that this, like... But that's the problem right there. You are coming in with the highest of expectations. I think that's your problem. Whenever you do that, watching movies, listening to music, it's rarely going to end well. So what you're going to do now, now that you know that it, you're not a fan, right? Right. Lower those expectations. Just ask yourself, do you like the song or not? Okay. okay and then we'll okay, go from okay, there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and check this out. One question. Oh, gosh. One question, and I got to ask. When it comes to Beatles, right? And I know that you always tell me not to put stuff in the genre, but I still have to put it into. So they are not, are they considered like classic rock and roll? They're definitely not metal, which is my thing. They're not, no, metal, they're not metal, but they're also not like, I wouldn't call them like, you know, poppy or I wouldn't call them. No, it's they're just... rock because they were the, they were one of the beginners of rock and roll. Okay. Rock and roll was not invented in the 1800s. They were one of the beginning bands that took it. And they morphed it. And again, you had the benefit of having all these different genres of rock, hip hop, all this kind of stuff. They are one of the founding fathers of the genre for crying out loud. So pre Elvis. So then. it's not no no no, it's around that time. Elvis, I believe, started in the fifties. These guys started in the sixties. Okay. Okay, so around that time, but early sixties. But again, they were only together recording music for I think less than ten years before they broke up. Wow. Really? So in about nine years they had such an impact on the music world before heavy metal, before all these different things that came branched off, partly inspired by their music, that they kept changing as they went on those nine years, but that music has lasted a test of time. Nine years together, test of time. Let's check it out. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe doing some Cobra Kai, <laughs> Eagle Fang Karate. Woo! And here we go. Can't find me love. Pictures right there with cracking me up. Money, money, I'm 
you think about that? Two minutes, 11 seconds. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. They just put a smile on my face when I listen to it. It's such easy listening. Uh, you know what you remind me of? Uh, that, uh, and I don't even know who he is, but in that movie. <laughs> okay, that's who you remind me of. I, no, know the, I don't know the name of the guy, but in the movie Queen, when he's listening to the song, he's like, the bloody song goes on forever. Six minutes. And he goes, I pity your wife if you think six minutes is forever. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Oh, Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I love that line, dude. That movie was awesome. I finally got it, though. I know exact. Sorry, it's not an it, Nick. <laughs> You're going to kill me. There's something wrong with you. They sing too much. Does that make sense now? They sing too much. No. You are you are obsessed with the guitar solo so much that if it didn't take up half the song, then it's too much singing. <laughs> Two minutes, 11 seconds is too much singing? No, but think about it. Every other, not every other, but the majority of uh, 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 rock songs, like literally, they sing almost the entire time. Even through the solos, they're always singing. And I think that maybe it's most, because... Mo most rock is that way. You're thinking heavy metal encapsulates half of the rock music. It does not. Heavy metal... One of the things that they're famous for is the instrumental side, the solos. Oh, okay. The world of rock, what you hate when I say mainstream rock, the, the songs that are on the radio, three, maybe five minutes, and 95% of that is lyrics and singing. Interesting. Okay, see, that's because I couldn't put my foot on it. And then having just listened... Uh... But again, it's a fan of, of rap. I'm surprised that the, the, the lyrics bother you because rap is just... I mean, you brag about that one song where it's like 100 bars. 100 bars, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of rapping, bars. a.k.a. singing, right. a.k.a. lyrics, vocals. But I think that when you go to rap, that's what you go to it for. You don't go to rap to listen to the, at least, original rap I would band. say the same thing. The you new... don't go to rock for that. You go to heavy metal for that. Right. You don't go to rock, classic rock, rock and roll to listen to them go crazy on the right. instrument. I mean, listen, if they I do it's fantastic. I was just able to put my thumb on it cuz I was like that guitar solo was so short, but even during there, it's like they can't help themselves but to sing. Like they got their voices got to be out there the whole but time. Guitar solos is not what they do. And, and, and no, 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 I get that. And that's how come I'm like, "Oh, I, I finally got it." And I, because I was just able to listen to it on the hill or listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, which was so which was so different, you know what I mean? But still, it had the time for the music to breathe this entire time, even though it was, like you said, only 2 minutes and uh, 11 seconds. They literally sing the entire time. With that being said, again, it's also an older, like you said, 50s. So it's an older genre, you know what I mean? So even the guitars sound different to me. It's like more like banjo-y and twangy as opposed to like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, just wait till they get into their sitar obsession. What's a sit? I don't it's even know. It's, it's, they go to India in real life and they learn about the sitar. They learn about all the different types of things. And they come back, kind of Aaron Rodgers with like whatever his whole journey was or whatever. It's just a different type of guitar. Really? Sitar. But it's, uh, I mean, you can hear it. I can't think of any specific top songs that top my mind. But... So hold on. So they went to India, learned an instrument over there, and then came back and. They were inspired by it. They were always, they were always changing. Again, this is their younger stage, their first. I'm going to play for him, um, Here Comes the Sun, next. Watch out for that video. Got a lot of requests on it. That was one that was written by George um, Harrison, the guy in the second one, second row right there, below John Lennon. Um, I always thought it was more of a reserve type. Fantastic song. I want to say there's some sitar on that, but I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, I'm going to show you with that song how they change. And I can't remember if it was originally a Beatles song that was always his, so he played it at his shows when he went solo, or if it was a solo song. I think it was a Beatles song first. You'll hear their evolution of their music. They're constantly changing. And that's what you gotta love about Oh, uh, Definitely evolution, because like I said, the one song, when you asked me about the beat that I knew, and it was about because of my best friend in college, Ryan, was While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And that one, is so different from all these yeah. other Beatles songs you played for me. So you, you, well, you're definitely right there. there there's a lot of evolution. Let it be there. long and winding. I mean, there's so many different songs out there. We're gonna keep reacting. I'm gonna keep flogging that dead horse. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we know all things.